What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Tony Gun Show. And you might be wondering, who the hell are you? I'm not Tony. I'm Megan. And we are taking over. Yes, this is a ladies only event. And I'm super excited because not only am I hanging out with my girl, Fur from MTD, but we are also hanging out with the AMT ladies. I like to call you the salt and pepper, you know, the rap oh, group yeah, of, course. of AMT because you guys just have a lot of spunk and pizzazz and you're just a lot of fun to hang out with. So we got MC and Bonnie from AMT. Hello, ladies. How are you doing? Welcome back to the gun show, my friends. This is the VIP edition. Hello. Excellent. We're Thank great. you. I love that salt and pepper. <laughs> the I mean, salt and pepper of AMT. Uh, I'll take it. Yeah, now, that sounds good. And love the ladies takeover. Yeah. So today we're going to be talking about everything IMTS because IMTS is AMT show. And I'm just curious what you two ladies do for the show because I never really knew what you do. I know you travel around a lot and you're very <laughs> customer focused and like you work and speak with a lot of the companies. But what specifically do you do to get set up for IMTS? Besides being the beautiful face. Yeah, oh, oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. The beautiful salt and pepper. <laughs> Thanks. That's very nice. Do you want to start? Uh, sure, start? I can start. All right, you start. Okay. Uh, let's see. So what do we do? So I work in content. So a lot of um, what I'm doing for the show is uh, I work with Bonnie on partnerships. We have some fun new partnerships coming together uh, this year for that you're going to be a part of, too. I know. <laughs> Chris Lukey and Manufacturing Happy Hour, Roadshow to IMTS. Uh, also partnerships with Drew Crow and Jay Call and others. Uh, and Tony Gunn. Mm-hmm. And you, uh, and then work on content for during the show. So we have a IMTS Plus main stage that is at large in the the, the main mm -hmm. um, Grand Concourse, and we have uh, continuous presentations up there. And then also we run pre-recorded IMTS Plus content. So for this show, it's really putting together all of that. Also, we have a new afterwards uh, IMTS Plus afterwards stage that's a more of a kind of intimate loungy space um, where which is with a small riser or 20 minute presentations and mm -hmm. sessions where people can get up and close and personal. Uh, is that new this year? It is. Okay. Yes, we've never had it before uh, because the main stage, it doesn't, it's, um, it doesn't have the uh, ability to engage with their audience. So we wanted to create something that could get more personal. Um, and then also be you know, a space for people to hang out when they need it, because as you know, there's never enough hangout places on the show floor. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, so time. that, and then we run a live news program in the morning called IMTS Day Today, and a live news program uh, in the afternoon called IMTS Unwind, and I know you're opening up one of the days for us as part of the Creators Lounge. Uh, so we put together a run a show for that. Um, there are other stages that we work on, and then when we're at the show, it is you know, going around and seeing everyone and um, meeting up. Uh, working on new content that we'll create at the show. Um, we're hopefully going to do a kind of a special edition of Road Tripping with Steve. Uh, it hasn't been set yet, so I can't talk about it. But um, <laughs> yeah, and I mean, it is the uh, global gathering place of our industry, so there's a lot of cool stuff and content that happens. Right, and so before we get to you, Bonnie, I have a question surrounding the content. So in 2022, that was like the comeback show, right? Because we were all locked up because of COVID. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I know the IMTS Plus channel was something brand new during that year because you wanted to keep the conversation going on the off years of the show. So when you're looking for new ideas specifically around content, like what are some of the parameters that you're looking for? Like how do you say, yes, this is the type of content that I want to highlight at the show and bring in front of people so that when they think about manufacturing, they're always remembering IMTS. So looking at, um, and again, you know, when we launched or, or when IMTS was, was incepted, which was before my time and Bonnie was here, uh, you know, kind of the, the idea was to um, discover like the untold stories of manufacturing because we're not trying to compete with a gardener. We, we have you know very close partnership with Gardner and other industry media groups. Um, so it's not to get into the deep technical side, but again, those untold stories. So we almost call it like the people behind the technology. Yeah. Um, now we also do have stories and, and features about technology, of course. So the content at the show, it's um, a lot of it is kind of uh, people we meet, um, different stories we've heard. There's a, and I, I talked a little bit about it when we were here in April. We have a new series that's going to release called Passion Project, and that 
collaboration and partnership actually came about at IMTS two shows ago, I think. Um, and it's with Martin Guitars and Mazak and Rena Shaw. There's another um, episode of 3D, with 3D Pets, Dive Design, um, that will be um, releasing beginning of 2025. So it's, again, those stories of the people, the journey, and then the technology, and the passion for, for, for all of it. So, and the idea is to obviously engage the manufacturing community, but then also outside of it. Right. Um, we've done a, a couple presentations for my son's class at his elementary school, and the kids love it. Like they, they don't know all this cool stuff that's happening when they, they hear about it. They're like, wow, this is manufacturing. So it's also getting these stories out to that broader base. And it's uh, thought leadership too. So yeah. we've got yes. some <laughs> big time thought leaders coming to speak. Um, we're probably going to announce all that stuff in the next three weeks coming out. So we're really excited about the people that are coming to help us open the show and have these nice afternoon shows, you know, um, keynotes. We have like three keynotes a day. You guys of. always have a stellar lineup of speakers and even conference speakers, not just the keynotes. Like it's a very educational event. So um, in terms of like the scheduling and because there's so many different moving parts, right? You have your, your keynote series, you have your conferences, but you have different conferences too, like some that are more specific to like additive manufacturing. So to anyone that's like a first time attendee to IMTS, one of the best things that I like is how you color code everything. So that's <laughs> really helpful. But like, what would be some of your advice to you? Um, so first time attendees, um, if you're looking for education, the conferences are definitely where the technical side, mm -hmm. that all comes out with, um, the technical. So we have the IMTS 2024 conference, which is actually, we do that with uh, GIE media and that is exhibitor speaking about the technology that's on the show floor that they're releasing, uh, displaying. It's not a sales pitch. It's how do I, why do I want this in my shop? Um, it's very technical. So that's where, you know, you want your engineers to go. You want, you want people, if they're learning, or your, your younger people to go. Um, and then we have nine other conferences. Some are additive. Uh, we've got a laser conference. We have a uh, Women to Make Manufacturing Move program. We've got a breakfast. And that's not really technical. It's more like a gathering. We have like mm -hmm. a reception. We have our job shops. Um, we've got three job shops programs. Um, one is MC is in charge of one of them. Okay. And then Modern Machine Shops doing another. They do their top shops. So we have a lot of education stuff for, so definitely look at the conferences because everyone's like, oh, you have conferences? Because we look at ourselves as a trade show that has conferences. Um, there's a lot of trade shows that conferences, it's a conference with tra with a trade show floor. And we're mm -hmm. the complete opposite. Um, but do spend time because you can do a day of the IMTS conference. You can just buy for a day and, and you're in there. You, you look at whatever you need to and then, then you go walk, walk the show floor. Um, we also have LATAM night. I'm sort of going along on the conference stuff. But we have a lot there. So first time tips, I would look at that. Um, we have a My Show Planner. I think we talk about that a lot. It is probably one of the least, um, it's totally underutilized. If people go in there and they start looking for the technology they want, you can plan your visit. You can put your conferences on there. You can even put appointments with exhibitors in it. Like you can plan your whole day, your week, your three days, whatever. And it's free. <laughs> Yeah. So all you have to do is sign up. Um, so I was a first time attendee uh, last IMTS. And yeah, I think my show planner, it's like a great <laughs> thing that people should, should really use. Because last year we were running like all around, like from whole north to west and mm -hmm. east. And it's like if you can plan ahead, and it's like, OK, this day I'm going to the north hall instead of going everywhere at the same time is great. And also like going into the IMTS space, you can see like all the exhibitors and plan everything ahead and it will save you so much time. And we know that is our biggest show here in America. So you don't want to be walking <laughs> the whole day one way to the other one. You need very comfortable, very comfy shoes. Oh, yeah. I think that's a uh, first time tip for everyone yeah shoes. there's some yeah. women that go to the show with stilettos on oh. i don't know how they do that but yeah. i f i hope they have like a change of shoes and they're just wearing it at certain times i so did Barbara. that once in my first filming with tony i appeared to a treasure with the stilettos and i was crying oh so i, I yeah. can't even wear them <laughs> early I, yeah. I, 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 we had um <laughs> so on the main stage 
Barbara Humpton opened up, it was like Tuesday or Wednesday, mm -hmm. and she was being interviewed by Tim Shambara, who at the time was our CTO, and she came in her tennis shoes, and she's like... And she had a jacket like this. She, she had a moto jacket yeah, and totally. sneakers. And she, and she was awesome. like, Are you, I've got my other change of shoes if you prefer, and we're like, no, you do what you want. Yeah. Like, it was great. Cause she's from Siemens, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. she's had a Siemens for USA. Yeah. I saw her speak a couple of times, and she had a pair of tennis shoes. I believe her grandson painted for her. Oh, oh my gosh. And I'm like... Yeah. You're my kind of lady. That's, That's awesome. She's yeah. coming back. So she's going to speak on the main stage. Yeah. Awesome. She's on Tuesday. I was going to ask now that ladies are taking over. We're yes. talking about SD Ladles and Conference. What does IMTS has for women in manufacturing this year? I did research uh, for my next opportunity uh, because I wanted to write a book. And uh, I came across the statistic that 70% of small business owners want to fund their retirement through the sale of their business, when in fact only 20% of them actually had a saleable business. And it just, it broke my heart, uh, anticipating the fact that baby boomers, there was a light at the end of the tunnel, and in fact it was a train. And so I really wanted to do something about that. So I wrote a book called Scaling the Exit, that's what, the purpose of the book was to articulate a strategy for small to medium sized business owners to increase the value of their business to the extent that they could actually sell it and fund their retirement. And that was really the first iteration of what became EBITDA Growth Systems and our brand promise, which is to double the valuation of small, medium-sized businesses, specifically in terms of an, uh, an exit, but double their valuation um, or we give them their money back. Um, we've got the we've got a reception the first night, so it, it's um, 5:30. Well, mm -hmm. Monday night we have a reception, and then Wednesday morning we're having a breakfast. Um, we last time we did a lunch, but we have a breakfast. Um, we're going to have the speaker is the she's from NASA, right? NASA. Yeah, she like runs the mm -hmm. like someplace in NASA. Kat Ross is in charge so of that cool. program. Yeah. It's going to be great. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, we did it early so the exhibitors could attend because last time they couldn't get away from the booth. So we tried to do it for breakfast so that we could have attendees and exhibitors participate. That's in, really cool. In the session. So that's that's what we've got. And then um, we do have a LATAM night, though. Yeah. Speaking, uh, when we have and a LATAM conference. conference. Yeah, I have seen some uh, brand new videos from Carlos, Carlos. Mortera and Jorge yeah. visiting track machine tools and other companies that are sponsoring uh, the LATAM night. Yeah. And the, the, the conference is a f it's all full Spanish speaking. So if you go that's in thinking awesome. it's English, you're so not going to. Solamente español. Not a not a English. I can understand a little bit and speak a little less. So I'm trying. I'm trying, but it's just yeah. I keep I told Fur, I'm like, I need to start practicing Spanish with you because it, you can't pick it up if you don't practice no, it. No. So I was trying to dip in on your conversation earlier today with Tony's wife. I understood <laughs> a little bit of it and I'm just like but then I was like, man, I must look really creepy, like staring at them. Trying You're to immersing look. yourself. Yeah. And it's a con tequila, uh, con tinto, habla español, ma mejor. And Pardon me. It's really good. When you mentioned the Latin night, I remember two years ago, it was only like a get it together. Mm -hmm. But now you said about uh, presentations, right? It's a, ha uh, it's a half hour? day conference. Yeah. It's a, in the afternoon, it's a conference, and then that evening is going to be the reception. That's great. Yeah, we've yeah. never had anything like that before. Yeah. Carlos and then uh, He's so happy Daniel that we, we thought this was a great idea. Yeah, he's, and he's, <laughs> he's amazing. Like, that, okay, more work. <laughs> so, in turn, because, again, this is women's take, taking over. Um, since your time with being with AMT and, like, how many shows that you've been with at IMTS, like, what has the presence been around women like because i remember when i first attended imts it's got to be like ages ago i don't even remember the year for my first one there were some women but i think i could count like <laughs> on one hand every time i was in each hall how many and now it, there's like i two years ago there was lines at the bathroom for the women's bathroom and i was like well this is kind of this no, is great I, I but this kind of sucks i don't believe there was a line I still don't believe there's there was one. I've never seen a line. There was one where the bathroom that I went to, but it was yeah. one of the smaller ones because yeah. I was just like, there's no way. It Let's was, just it take it. I'll take it. Let's just take it. I don't like it. But so. uh, yeah, no, um, we actually started with our registration uh, asking if you're uh, what your 
gender identification. Yeah. So we'll know more after this show. I think we did it last year, but I don't remember. We put it in late. And so, mm -hmm. so, but there's definitely a higher percentage, but it's still, it's like 9%. Is it that? No. Is it that? I don't remember. Is it? I, just, I mean, I just to re re forget I said that. I don't remember. I'll look. I'll look and I'll look. I think it's, high. I mean, so I was in the ski and snowboard industry for 20 years and it was a long time ago. So it's like 96 or <laughs> I don't know, 2016 or something. And, um, you know, that was very, you know, back then, similar, you know, more men than women kind of thing. And then I went in the plastics industry, which is similar to manufacturing. But when I came to IMTS, I I thought there were a lot of women at, at IMTS. I was I was surprised it was more than uh, the other industry. And then just going to other shows in these last couple of years, and then seeing what's going on in social media on LinkedIn. Yeah, there are a ton of women out there um, that are in a part of manufacturing. Proud to be excited about it. Um, I mean, you obviously are the heart of it. Uh, so I, I think it's exciting, and then you know. Well, it's definitely exciting. Being in the, just, it's still a small percentage. Yeah, right. Because if you it, look at, it is what it is. That's additive sector, like the additive community, mm -hmm. seems to have more women. Mm -hmm. it's, it's new. Well, I feel like there's a lot more women coming into the electronic side of things too, with mm -hmm. like PLC programming and robotics and stuff. So I'm like really looking forward to seeing. And one of the other things that I really like at IMTS, and I, I don't know how much you two are involved with it, but the student summit. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really important for companies to kind of at least go to it if you're not exhibiting in it. Um, because again, I think when younger girls can see themselves working at the companies that they have the potential to work at, um, it's just, you know, easier to Agreed. kind of flip them over that edge. So in terms of the show, what are some of your favorite things that you look forward to each time you go? I've only been to one. <laughs> so um, you start. <laughs> I, so I, and I'm in charge of the Emerging Technology Center. So I've been doing that Ooh. since 2012. I came up with an idea and then it was successful and I've been in charge ever since. Well, it's, it's more <laughs> it's more than an idea. It was like Guinness Book of World Records. No, no, no. That was 2014. 2012 oh, was the rally fighter. <laughs> but um, so I always love doing the Emerging Technology Center only because I because I do partnerships for AMT mm -hmm. and I get to work with so many different. Sometimes it's exhibitors. Sometimes it's like the, the National Lab. Sometimes it's. Um, like Blue Forge is coming this time. So they're like a contractor for the government. Just, you know, just totally different groups coming in to either show um, what they're trying. This year's a little bit more real um, mm -hmm. because we're trying to connect the story of, well, there's a few things in the ETC, but Oak Ridge National Labs is coming in and they're, they've partnered with Okuma. And then I think there's like six other companies and they're bringing in a new way to do hybrid manufacturing with a machining center. It's going to be really cool. And oh, it's that's cool. Nothing, and it's nothing... It's uh, it's a new way to do it. It's not like anything's new. Like it's just a configuration, completely different. It's it's a launch. It's going to be great. Yeah. Um, we just started. We're just able to start talking about it now. So that's really exciting. And it's, right now, it's they're setting everything up down at Okuma in in uh, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. So is it just like one or two companies within the emergent techno? So it's five. This year it's five. So we've got MT Connect is coming in. Um, and they're about their big thing is about how data out of the machines and how you can. Um, now, now it's, you know, you're, they're pulling it out. What do you do with it? How do you use it? So their big presentation is um, about how they're actually focusing on the supply chain, not mm -hmm. the supply chain, but the uh, industrial base, industrial manufacturing base, working with Blue Forge to be, let it be so that companies can now, job shops can now qualify to work for the government a little easier. And a lot of it has to do with the security of your data. Right. So they're working with that with Blue Forge. And then we've got Blue Forge. And then we have... Um, we built giants. When we have we build giants, yeah. Uh, but then we also submarines. have Apollo, um, who is um, a human humanoid, and it's with. Um, ap I can never say the. I can't say the name. Okay, Apollo is a human. It's, 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 it's a, a company. It's awesome at the startup. They're coming out of Texas. Yeah. I High five. We're gonna can't have a robot. For that. We build giants is really interesting to me too because I didn't realize we had a submarine shortage until I went to an additive manufacturing conference and they that was like all the rage and I was like. It's uh yeah it's huge and um, the <laughs> huge literally literally <laughs> figuratively uh, ha, ha. the uh, but, you know with Bonnie talking about the emerging technology center and with Blue Forge and we build giants and you know showing um, that def the defense I mean the the amount of 
opportunity for manufacturing and manufacturers and defense, which is obvious, but then, like you know, Bonnie said, there, there are also regulations and things for, to educate people on. Um, and yeah, these submarines are incredible. Yeah. Um, they're being built in two, two locations, right? I don't know if I know the details. Debbie Holton. Well, I did take a look at our timer and it's oh, at oh. zero. <laughs> so I do wanna uh, start closing this up. Is there anything else that you two ladies would like to, to mention as a final say, like? Look, right now, kids are looking at what they're gonna be doing in the future. And some of them don't even know what a career in manufacturing could look like. So what we're trying to do is support organizations and initiatives that are telling kids what a career in manufacturing is. So help us give back by purchasing Shop Floor Coffee. You can find us at shopfloorcoffee.com. We're on LinkedIn. Contact us. Let us know how we can support you and your organization. So for, for me, for IMTS, this is, I've been here for a long time. I, I don't remember what, it's like the 12th IMTS I've done. I mean, I've been coming since 2000, so is that's that awesome. 13. But um, we talked about planning, but you've got to plan your time to just walk around because that's where uh, the most of it is, you know, walk around and explore because if you're not exploring, you're missing. And if you don't put time in to explore, then you you might miss something that, you know, just right behind your back. So right. just that would be my thing because it's planned, but also give yourself some flexibility in there to, to explore. Absolutely. But and have fun. Do we have an app for the phone? I remember that in other it years there's, an there's, there's, there's an, an app, app yep. where we, you can have mm -hmm. your agenda, your planner, the map, and I think that's very useful. It all connects to the My Show Planner. So all that will be in on your phone if you very cool. plan it. What about you, MC? Uh, I would um, second what Bonnie said. I mean, this will be, I've actually been, this will be my third IMTS I've been to because I, I went as a visitor in 2018 before I even knew I'd be working here. Uh, and uh, so I would say, you know, again, yeah, leave time to find, there's so, <laughs> I don't I mean, I'm speaking to the, to the choir here, but there's so much incredible uh, technology and things that are changing quickly. Mm -hmm. It seems like they're changing faster than they, they have been. Um, is to, yeah, to, to scope out and just explore everything. And then also to leave time for uh, friends. I mean, this is the gathering of the, the industry and it's a time to celebrate, you know, one another and celebrate the industry and, you know, celebrate that week. So it's, um, you know, leave time for that. There'll be a lot of incredible events too. There's the exhibitor events, other things going on. Um, I think our friend Chris Lukey might have something going yes. during that week. I know about that because he, he told me. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the loop with that part of the Cool Kids Club for yeah, that one. Everyone. So, uh, yeah, yeah, and again, have fun. Like Bonnie said, have fun. I mean, we're all super fortunate, and I feel incredibly fortunate even just being in this industry for years. Um, the people are, it's the people, it's the community, it's incredible. Yeah, and we do have, like, emailing us or calling, like, we answer the phone, we answer your emails. So if you have a question and you think we might, you know, we, we'll, we're there to help you. So yeah, there's a whole team of people. So, so if it's your first IMTS, if it's your fifth or 10th, definitely go on LinkedIn, follow AMT, connect with all of the, the members from AMT because honestly, you guys are one of the funnest groups that I've ever worked with or collaborated with and you're super nice and you're super helpful and you're passionate. So yeah, connect with everybody on LinkedIn. Be sure to check out the show planner try to plan ahead but as bonnie and mc stated explore because there's a ton of exhibitors smaller exhibitors that are against the wall or way in the back and they have cool technology too that they're showcasing and they get missed out on a lot because people just focus on what's obvious right in front of them so be sure to explore but this was the ladies takeover event for the tony gun show uh, i hope it was a horrible did you, did you just take over my show i yes. did tony i did and i think we're gonna get a lot of great likes on this episode for sure you definitely do it better than i do well done you're not getting Thanks, it back guys. bye everyone have a good one bye, bye. thank you